Back in the early 1990s, uh, I was a bass player in a rock band called Waxworks. We were writing a lot of original music and performing, you know, around the local bar scene, mostly cover songs with a few originals sprinkled in there. You know, because back in those days, if you wanted to play original music, there was just one venue in all of Southern Maine that might hire you, and that was Geno's. Um, my recollections of the place are that it was, you know, kind of dumpy. It always had that sort of stale beer and pee smell. <laughs> uh, the PA system was not very good, and the floor was always a little sticky. Uh, and they had a pretty uh, limited beer selection. But, you know, the bands did get paid a percentage of the door, which, you know, most nights probably wouldn't come close to covering your bar tab, but at least you could perform the music you wrote to the few regulars who sat at the bar and to, you know, however many friends and, and family you could talk into coming to your show. And so, um, back in 1992, Geno's turned nine years old. To mark the occasion, they booked a full night of performances from a roster of local musicians who were, you know, happy to play their original music to whoever would listen. So when my band was invited to join in, I decided to bring my uh, super VHS camcorder, <laughs> you know, to the show and record the evening as it unfolded. So uh, I recently ran across the original VHS tapes uh, and decided to just, you know, give them another look before I tossed them out. So for over 30 years, these tapes have been sitting on my shelf untouched. It's, uh, you know, I must admit, it's been kind of fun to see some of these old friends again and listen to the music of my youth. <laughs> so anyway, here it is. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, what you're about to see is my tribute to all those musicians who played that night, um, April 3rd, 1992. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. Uh, the time sure does fly. So here it is. Happy birthday, Genos. Documentary, documentary, a, a documentary, or would it be a documentary? Documentary, underground rock. You're on fire, I think. Yeah, I know. Again, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to smoke a little bit. Yeah, but so this, is but Gino's is a fine establishment. There's smoke alarms and water yeah. things everywhere <laughs> that are <laughs> bound to go off. Probably get a coffee from. You know well, I've never actually been able to see this ceiling in all the years I've been playing here. So. They might yeah, as you can see, Gino, has, has, Gino hasn't been this crowded in ages. There's tons of people here hanging out, uh, having a good time. All these band members, Cecil over there from Emperor Napoleon. She's in your band. Uh, I know her. He lives with me. Yo, mama! Yo, mama! I'm here for the Gino's big birthday party. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. By all means. To you. Happy birthday to you. Birthday to you. Our lights on fire again. We're gonna have to kill the light. <laughs> the lights on fire. They have to kill the light. Fire! 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 Oh! Okay, here we are with Michael Danny. He opened up the Geno's Festival, the ninth anniversary festival. This is hey, Michael. Mike, Michael Mike, I'm like, you're a hell of a dancer, I must say. I'm a, I'm a heck of a dancer for a folk singer. This is called Jellyfish Heaven.
stars and starfish fill the sky. My name is Michael Vanity, and I am I'm a musician of some sort. <laughs> I, uh, I used to be a political organizer, I used to be a journalist, I used to be a poet, and I guess I am that in, in different ways to doing my music. So I began playing on the streets of Portland in 1989, I guess it was. I had played guitar in nine years or so. And just uh, started doing that, and then started playing some uh, coffee houses and started playing places like Lowe's and, yep. and Tree Cafe and Zoops and stuff, so this is what I'm doing now. We're headlining at Bun Ratties on uh, in a few days, and that's 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 great because usually it would happen on the first act and uh, and I end up having people show up just as I'm finishing up, so I'm going to get to be the, the, yeah. the headliner this time. You got some cool material. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Cut. <laughs> That's all right. Hi. Hi. So, uh, <laughs> who are you and what do you do? I'm DJ Landry and I play guitar and sing. Woo! <laughs> 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 Everybody from Mozart to Melissa Etheridge. It's uh, quite a diverse area. Did you study music in school? Yeah, I studied classical on piano. Oh, really? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> so, uh, what are your uh, future plans? Um, I don't know. I just like to keep doing music for a living. Just keep doing that, you know. Are you going to stay local? Are you planning to hang around Portland? No. Where are you going? Um, I want to go back overseas. I did a tour in Ireland for a couple of weeks, and I liked that a lot. Great. And I'd like to do that with a band. And um, I'm looking into getting into Newport, Rhode Island. You know, just like anywhere, Boston, Cambridge. That's great. <laughs> is that all? I guess. Is there something you'd like to add for posterity? Is for posterity? Yeah. There is no posterity. We're in Portland. <laughs> Happy birthday, Gino, nine years old. Happy birthday, Gino. Oh, 
I'm Dennis. Mature, I'm Dennis, and I, I try to play guitar. So we can't record. Just for the fun of it, we were offered a chance to play our own stuff, and we decided to come over and do it. What's the name of your band again? The, the what? What's the name of your band? Hey! Waxworks. Uh, the Lewis and Auburn area. Uh -huh. And then San Francisco. And then we're back here again. Uh, <laughs> next question. Time ago. I never would have known that. Well, that's why I wear my hat. That's a good idea. We're all old. We're all over 30. Well, I'm not. Is Doug over 30? Yeah, only one third of us is over 30. <laughs> one third of us is really over 30. We're a mid-20s mid band. 
Are we getting 20 now? We're in late 20s now. Late 20s. This is Doug. He plays guitar. Hey, Doug. Does all the singing. He almost got nailed with that light, huh? I know. <laughs> yeah. You see the fear in my scary. eyes? I think so. Did you, you get shocked tonight, Doug? I was just screaming because I couldn't hear myself on the monitor system. I know. We have the same problem. That's fine. It didn't seem like but it though, it I know what you mean. Like it doesn't seem like it. Well, no, there's nothing. Once, you, once the rest of the band kicks in, there's nothing. It's tough. It's tough. It's Gino's. It's like you're Just singing and then you're not. Uh, I can't believe Gino came up and blew out the candles. That was cool. My throat was kind of like this when I hit that. He blew us off too, because like he started to come over and then he stopped and went back to the kitchen. Here we are. Okay, we're flying live here at Geno's. I'd like to welcome you to Geno's here at the ninth anniversary gig, a veritable clutter of bands. I'm David Carl Roberts from The Love Cactus. It's an offshoot of a couple of bands called Crazy Moonbeam and a band called Mr. Soul. Um, we used to belong to a band before that called the Dino Arnold Band. That was a band we, you know, that was named after that sound that guitars make when they're making country music. You know, Dino Arnold, Dino Arnold, Dino Arnold. Before that, we belonged to this band called Biggity Bombity Boomity, which is that sound that the bass does, you know, when it's playing Biggity Bombity Boomity. This here's uh, Kev, he's the bass player of the group. Demonstrating the Biggity Boogity sound. The Biggity Boogity band. Biggity Boogity, Biggity Boogity, Biggity Boogity, Biggity Boogity. You see, you see the Biggity Boogity. It's a, it's a really fine experience to be a member here of the Geno's crew. Greg, lower the boom. Thank you.
tape coming out in, oh, what, five, six weeks. Uh, about six songs of original material written by Dave and myself. Uh, we write separate songs, actually. And um, I don't know when we're going to have a release party, but we're sure we're going to have one somewhere. Don't drop your tuner. We also have t-shirts. Oh, And don't forget, buy a t-shirt, support a cause. We need the money. I bring the light out there. Actually, why I started playing bass was I played clarinet and all my friends played guitar and drums and yep. things like that. So, so I started playing bass because no one played bass. And, and clarinet was... You didn't look too cool walking through the high school halls carrying a clarinet, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, uh, what's your future plan? What are you going to do with yourself like next year, the next two years? What are you going to be doing? A lot of heroin. <laughs> well, besides yeah, that, that's, 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 besides the drug your thing's passe, you know. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Playing with somebody who's going somewhere oh, besides Portland, Maine, yeah. so that so that I'm playing somewhere besides here. Even though I love it here and I like living here, I want to yeah. get out of here for a while. We'd like you to know that Waxwork supports Love Cactus. Right. To all your friends and family out there, these are available by mail order, P.O. Box 17891, CCP, Portland, Maine. Ten box. This is Brian the drummer. Brian the drummer. Thank you for your support. Go buy the old Fuck Theater single, 249. Don't you guys have a, it's something new that came out just recently, though? Yeah, back in October, we had our, um, our eight song set, Fisher Cut Bait. Steve's selling them out in the uh, venue there. He's got a little table. He's going at it. I have it. So how much are you listening to? They're, um, the cassettes are, I think, seven fifty. Eight songs, seven fifty. So it's a better value to buy the single, I think, for a song. <laughs> well, well, no, no, maybe not. Maybe not. We got six for five bucks. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's a value kind of thing. Yeah. It's worth sitting down and just like playing it every afternoon at high volume. It, it was mixed to be played live. You go, hey, this is Dave from Love Cactus calling, and they go, and they go, hey. Buddy, Buddy, how's it going? It's like, thanks for checking in. Can't help you again this week. <laughs> You're polite, right? Right, and then you just try another place. Give us a gig, or else we'll never play here. <laughs> right. What? What do you want to know? Well, I play for a band called Vindicators. We've been together for um, about a year and a half. As a trio, we used to be a four-piece, then we became a five-piece. Now we're a hard pop trio from Boston, Mass. Celebrating nine years of rock and roll in Portland, Maine at Geno's. What made you come to Portland? I didn't even know about Geno's. Have you been here before? Um, yeah. Yeah, actually, if you can find young guns around here. There's one there, there's one there. My old band, we used to play here. And we were invited to play here about a month ago. Who books this place? Barbara, and Barbara invited us to uh, come up and play. So here we are. It's on fire again, it's on fire again, it's smoking. Oh. 